been really blessed to have two friends who've stuck with me and each other for 15 years now. The three of us are extremely different from each other and different from most people. I feel a little cringy saying that because everybody's different, there is no general people, but we do tend to be oddballs in the circumstances that we are in. And maybe that's one of the reasons we've stayed so close over the years because we relate to each other being different. Despite our own differences, we always have that in common. And we share similar values and have a penchant for getting to the roots of ideas and values. And maybe that keeps us coming back together. We want to search for the truth of things together. Sometimes the two of us will go through phases that the other doesn't. For example, right now, they're both going through a gardening phase. Um, it's a new kick for them. And who am I to say, like, maybe this is just a new lifelong obsession of theirs, and that would be great. I have a mild curiosity for gardening, but it's, it's, I'm not starting anytime soon. But it doesn't matter, because I love hearing the people I love talking about things that they're passionate about. I'm so enthralled by it. It's probably the way I discover like 90% of the things that I end up loving. And I know I talked about this when I talked about Reply All and the chapter titles were so good, but there's just like very little more attractive or interesting to me than people talking about something they're enthusiastic about unabashedly. I love it. Talk about the things you love. Don't be afraid to. And maybe that seems like strange advice to some people, Maybe it's second nature for you to talk about the things that you love, but I know for some of us, it's frightening. It seems to make me feel vulnerable sometimes that I'm opening myself up to someone critiquing me about something that I'm passionate about, and that's just silly. It puts too much power in someone else's hands to feel afraid to talk about something that I love. That's silly. Forget it. Trust that people are interested, and if they aren't, brush them off. Who even cares? I hope you're having a good May. We're like basically halfway through, isn't that insane? Time is weird. To you tomorrow! And it doesn't matter. I know, I know you hate when I'm paying attention to something else that isn't you. It's very annoying, isn't it? Wow, I know. Yeah, aww.